Hi everybody, this is Laura with Crazy Cool Cakes. We're bringing you a tutorial that has been requested a lot lately. We've gotten a lot of questions on how to properly wrap and package fragile cake toppers like this one and how to successfully ship them without them getting damaged. So we're going to show you a two-part video on how to do this. This uh, teddy bear cake topper that you see here is actually one that's going to be shipped here in a couple of days to one of my Facebook likers that won our first giveaway. If you haven't already checked out our Facebook page, we'd love it if you guys uh, would go ahead and like our page. You'll find the links underneath the video. We have a lot of giveaways coming up. So she won this really adorable teddy bear cake topper and this will be shipped to her. So I'm going to package this and show you all how to do this, you know, to make sure that it gets there safely. So let me show you the materials that we use to properly wrap our toppers. Uh, one of the most important things that we like to use is called VersaPack. And actually this roll is halfway through. So when we purchase this, it's way bigger than this. So this is what it's called. It's VersaPack and it's also called cellulose wadding and you'll find hundreds of websites online that sell this product but I'll provide the link to you from the company that we purchase it from here in our town um, they might be able to ship it to you but you can find it anywhere okay on the internet VersaPack cellulose body okay so let me show you why we love this material so much first of all it's not very thick but it is very durable it actually absorbs a lot of shock so this is perfect for for shipping and it's got several layers it's very very similar to the type of material that you find in diapers but of course that this is not exactly what it is but it's uh, got a nice texture and I will tell you I mean it's not cheap but it will definitely get your toppers there safely so like I said it comes in much larger rolls and then also we use bubble wrap okay you'll be using a lot of bubble wrap you will use styrofoam peanuts and we buy these humongous bags of course you don't have to buy bags this huge but you definitely need to have styrofoam peanuts for when you're packaging in your box we also use um, heavy duty packaging tape okay clear packaging tape you're going to need scissors you will need a little bit of scotch tape and that's uh, pretty much it other than your cardboard box and I'll show you all a little bit later towards the end how to determine what size box to use for your toppers okay so I'm gonna start off by showing you what to do first so if you notice this topper here has a lot of you know parts sticking out it's not one solid piece so when you package your toppers you have to of course use common sense and you have to figure out what parts of your topper are more susceptible to breakage during shipping. So you'll find that we actually do a lot of filling in of gaps when you're shipping toppers and wrapping them, okay? Okay, so to start figuring out how to wrap this teddy bear, what I do is I notice that the arms and the legs here are sticking out. Okay, so I need to fill in this gap here. You don't wanna have anything loose or any empty areas when you're wrapping your topper. So what I do is I, We'll take some of my cellulose wadding here and I'm going to cut, I usually cut, it's already got some uh, Perforation. perforations made for you and you know you could tear it but I actually like to cut it with my scissors just to make sure that I get a nice clean, clean cut. Okay, so this is the way the, the cellulose wadding comes, it's in two long strips. And what I'm gonna do is maybe just cut, I need to just determine more or less the height and I don't even really use a ruler that much, I just kinda eyeball it and use my fingers. So I know that from the bottom of his tummy to right underneath his chin, I'm looking at about that high. So I just figure out more or less how much I need to cut. So I'm just gonna cut a long strip here. And the width of this strip should be the height from the bottom of his tummy to right underneath his snout and that's about right, okay? So what I do here is I'm going to roll my cellulose swatting just enough to where it gives me the amount I need to fill in that gap between his legs. I might need just one more turn. 
I cut this off. Always save your extras because I promise you, you're gonna find a use for them when you're wrapping other toppers, okay? Then to make sure it's not gonna come loose during shipping, I just take a little bit of tape and I tape it together. And that fits nice and snug in there, okay? Then that way I know that this gap is filled between his legs and when I start wrapping the cellulose wadding around my topper here, I'm not worried about it being too tight on his little legs so it's not gonna break anything. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So, now what I start doing is I'm going to cut a strip of cellul cellulose wadding that again is the height from the bottom of the body of the bear to about right where his head starts. So I always wrap the torso first and then I leave the head to the end, okay? So this again, just eyeballing it, measuring with my fingers. Okay, so I know I need about that much. So I'm gonna cut one strip that height. So you can do this for any size topper and what I love about this material is that you can cut it yourself to the size that you need okay I cut my my tape just with my teeth you know some of you might want to use scissors but I find it it's a lot faster for me to just do it with with my teeth okay so you want to hold this little pillow that you made here in place okay and then what I do is I start just by pressing it inward and I'm holding it making sure that that pillow that I put in there is not moving. And this VersaPack is very versatile because it actually stretches. So you wanna basically wrap him nice and snug. Okay, that's my first layer. And then I tape it in place so it doesn't move. Okay, so if you look at the topper from the top, there's that piece of cellulose swatting that is between his legs underneath his snout and it's not moving anywhere. It's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, I wanna add two or three layers of this uh, height of wrapping around the entire body of my teddy bear. So I'm gonna cut two more strips about the same height. Now you'll notice that my teddy bear isn't moving from the little foam core board that I'm using and this is what I actually ship all of my toppers in. Many of you have already seen my tutorial on how to make a baby elephant and my Elmo tutorial. If you haven't, please check it out and you'll see the importance of actually building your toppers on top of a foam core stand. This teddy bear has an entire lolly stick going through its entire body and it's actually going into the foam core, which is what's keeping it anchored to the, to the foam core board. And I ship all of my toppers like this. You need to have some sort of a base that it's anchored to, to make sure that it doesn't, you know, flop all over the place during shipping. Okay, I have one more strip that I wanna add. And that's a little bit tall, so I'm gonna cut just a little bit off. And again, save your little strips because you are gonna find a use for them. Okay, so now he's got some nice thick layers around him as you can see. Now, if you, if you, my, sh my husband right now is showing you the view from the top going in. So if you notice, we have some gaps in here and we need to take care of these gaps because we don't want his head loose while he's being shipped, okay? Again, what we're gonna do is we're going to fill in the gaps and I just take another strip and I roll it. Okay? And sometimes what I like to do is I just take two pieces of tape and then that way I can cut this thing in half. Oops. Go 
fill that gap in there. Okay, and then we fill in the gap for the other one. So now if you get a good view from the top, we've got three pillows, that's what I call them, three little pillows inside. That way if there's any impact from either side or the front or the back, you've got your teddy bear covered, okay? Now we're going to start uh, figuring out how to wrap the head, okay? So again, I'm going to take another strip of cellulose swatting. So of course this is not how you're going to wrap every single topper you ever make. This is just to show you, you know, how a lot of thought has to go into wrapping your toppers, filling in all the gaps, making sure that your toppers are nice and protected from every angle, okay, from every direction. All right, so now what I'm gonna do here to protect the head is I take a strip of cellulose swatting that is this, about the same thickness and width as this entire area here on the top. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I fold it in half and then I fold it in half again, okay? Now my, my ears here are nice and anchored to the teddy head, so I'm not really even worried about those coming loose. Um, if you have something that has small parts sticking up, like a rabbit, for example, that would have ears sticking up, um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna have a little slideshow of how I took care of that, okay? But for something like this that doesn't have huge parts sticking out, and they're nice and solid and you really don't have to worry about them, then you can go ahead and do what I'm about to do. So I have this piece of VersaPak that I, you know, was a long strip, folded in half, and I fold it in half again so you can see how thick that is, okay? And basically, you want it to be enough to cover the top this way or this way. So when I'm wrapping my toppers, I form lids, as I like to call them, okay? So all I do is take a large piece of tape, Okay, longer than the length of the VersaPak on the top, and I just tape it in place. Okay, so here's the front of my teddy bear. And then I'm going to do the same thing again, take another strip of VersaPak, the same length and the same width as that one that I just put on top, fold it in half, Fold it in half again. And basically I'm gonna, gonna do the same thing, but this time it's gonna be perpendicular to what I did before. And like I said, I love this VersaPak because it does stretch. And you'll be able to tell when you're wrapping your top of yourself just how much you can actually press down, okay? All right, so if you get a, a view from far away from this topper, you'll notice that these pieces here are sticking out a little bit more than the VersaPak that's around the teddy bear. So when I like to wrap my, tapper, my toppers, I don't like anything sticking out. I like everything to be nice and even. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one more layer of VersaPak around here to give it a little bit of a square shape or a box shape, okay? So again, I'm just gonna cut a little bit off of this one. should be about right. Take a little bit of tape. Always remember where the front is, okay? It's very important to mark the tops and the front for your clients. So hold that in place. And I'm going to wrap this all around. And I'm actually, you know, pulling a little bit tight nice and snug. 